How's it going, everyone? And welcome back to The War Report, your weekly dose of Planetside 2 awesomeness. I am Golden Boy, joined by Jax. And Jax, how you doing, my friend? I'm doing great. I'm loving GU13. I'm super stoked on Planetside right now. How you doing, my friend? I'm doing really good. Uh, lots of cool stuff going on in the world of Planetside. Of course, just to, uh, I guess, break the ice here. Uh, me and Jax are both going to be at SOE Live. SOE, SOE Live. Live! There you go. There we go. So we're both going to be there. Uh, make sure you guys, uh, if, you, if you're attending the event, you can find us. I will be the short and fat one. He will be the tall and fat one. And you guys <laughs> could just talk to us all you want. Um, of course, you know, <laughs> don't gonna, look at me. i got a anyway. membership at the gym now. This yeah, right? We just got to hit the gym. Terrible. For SOE Live! SOE Live! Okay. <laughs> So now, uh, uh, let's just talk about GE13. Massive, massive update. Massive I update. I mean, like, some are saying it is probably one of, if not the best updates for Planetside in a very long time. I Tell think, me about I it. I think it's the best update Planetside's ever put out. There's so many changes, guys. I could talk about it for hours. Um, there's there's a ton of, of new things that they added. So just going through this list, I mean, I obviously know all the, all the updates that have been playing the hell out of the game for the past three days. Um, you know, there's automated server recommendations, which is great. I mean, there's some minor changes that, that we're not going to really cover. Uh, Lattice. So Lattice is on Esamir now. Esamir, by the way, is a completely yeah. redesigned continent. Uh, it's com it, it's hugely infantry based now. There's walls everywhere. Um, it, it's just amazing. I cannot I, I cannot stress how much I love the new Esamir. Yeah. Uh, it, it's made the game a, a much more infantry based game, and it only uh, makes armor effective in sort of open areas and roads and things where armor should be effective. It can no longer like spawn camp uh, with armor, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, it's it's absolutely unbelievable. I know myself, my outfit, everyone I've talked to loves the new SMR. If this is where the game is going, uh, there's no doubt it'll be an incredibly successful esport. Yeah, and I think the crazy part is that you know Battle Islands, uh, the Nexus hasn't even been released yet, so right. it's like it's still right. it's still pretty massive. Um, any other uh, news that are coming out of G13? Like any new things that are going down? There's a there's a ton of gun changes. Uh, like I said, I can talk about this update for for hours. There's so many changes that happen to it. There's some platoon changes on, on platoon management. Um, go to the website, guys. Check it out. Check out the updates. Uh, if you're a player, you obviously know all about the updates. There were some buffs to some weapons. There were some nerfs to some weapons. Uh, and, but overall, it's an absolutely amazing update. The biggest change, obviously, is SME and its playability and its, and its flow. And if that is to reflect what the battle islands will look like, I'm, I'm just incredibly excited. Yeah, and there were also uh, some other news that had came out, as a matter of fact, just today, which I think is pretty huge. User-generated user content now is going to be allowed in uh, Planetside 2. So actually, MMORPG.com has a great article right now that uh, talks a little bit about what's going on. Um, basically, the player studio comes to Araxis. You can see it right there. They had, they had a moment to talk with Tremel about some of the new things in Planetside. If we go ahead and bring it down here, you can see some of the new user-generated helmets that are gonna be included. Some of the content that will be uh, allowed for you guys to create are helmets, camo patterns, decals, uh, you know, decals for vehicles, uh, as well as hood ornaments and cockpit decals. So a lot of cool stuff there as you can clearly see. And you know, it was a good interview. It's a good read. Definitely worth uh, checking it out without a doubt. Yeah, absolutely, dude. Why, what's up? No, oh, I'm just excited. I'm just, I'm Your so face is like, he's just like <laughs> brimming with excitement, this guy. Yeah. I'm, I'm really excited about the new SMG. The, the new SMG that came out, too, is sick, by the way. Yeah. Uh, if you guys aren't using the new SMG, definitely check it out. Uh, it, it's a good long range SMG, which might not make sense to some people because like, it's a submachine gun. I should use it up close, but it's sort of an all around fantastic weapon uh, for all the factions. So Nice. Definitely worth checking There's that one out. There's some new pistols as well. As well. Uh, I've used the Desperado for the NC. It's awesome. The TTK on it's pretty good. Um, just the, the entire the entire game is is really solid right now. Yeah, yeah. So it's definitely heading in a good place. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's war report though, since we are gonna have two teams battling it out. Not three, because three teams you know sometimes gets a little crazy. But two teams. So crazy. We're gonna be able to keep up crazy. with the action. Jax, why don't you tell us about the two teams that we have featured today? So we have two teams that should be familiar to War Report fans. We have the Vanu Drop Squad, VDRS, and NUK, Numero Uno Clan. I don't know if I was supposed to tell people what that stood for. I think it's kind of DL. Oh, really? But, uh, yeah, so so NUK uh, and VDRS. VDRS is, like, the largest uh, Vanu population on the Waterson server, and NUK uh, is the number one TR outfit in the world. So it should be it should be big because yeah. NUK obviously has a smaller, very skilled force, and VDRS has such a huge pool to pull 
you know, top players from. So the cream of the crop really rises. I was talking to their leader, Not Your Bro, last week, and he said they've developed an MLG-level squad. So he's putting them in action today against a very worthy opponent. We'll see how they do. All right, very nice. So we're going to go ahead and jump to that action, find the battleground, get everything all set up and ready to go. And then we're going to bring you the action in just a little bit. Of course, guys, if you want to let everyone know what's going on here, feel free to tweet out at MLG. Let everyone know what's going on. The War Report is live. And we are going to have Nuck going up against VDRS coming soon right after the break.